Uh, right guys, we are now going to uh, isolate uh, uh, 4, 6, 4, 5, 4, 4 for official sealant. Uh, first of all, uh, we, uh, when we are going to the bay, we wash our hands and then go to the clean area, uh, mark our uh, rubber dam uh, according to the teeth that we need to isolate. So in case of uh, 4, 6, 4, 5, 4, 4, we just isolate the teeth nominated because uh, uh, we are just going to make facial sealant, no mesial, uh, mesial cavities or distal cavities. So after uh, marking, uh, we are going to make the markings, the bunch. So uh, we have those uh, six holes or five holes. The first one is uh, for the molars that need to be clamped. The second one is for the molars that will not receive a clamp. The third one is for the premolars. The uh, fourth one is for the upper centrals. And the fifth one is for the lower centrals. So what I'm going to do now is to make the first punch because it's going to be clamped the first molar uh, with the largest hole. And can we do that with our bare hands? Uh, yes. Yes, in the clean area. We are still in the clean area. We need to be sure that it's uh, uh, cleared. And then we change it to the premolar, the third one. And then the 4-4, four, four, the same one. All right. We're still in the clean. We can do it fast because we have only 10 minutes. All right. Well, Pretty sure now that we have three holes suitable for the four six, four uh, five and four four. All right, we choose the clamp that we need, or we can choose multiple clamps, and then take all together with the clamp holder and frame, and we take a piece of um, like a floss. Uh, we take a very large piece like this size with us with some Vaseline on a cotton or in a dish like this uh, and a scissors and we take all together with our hands and drop it in the bracket table which will be the dirty area all right just we will imagine now that we are in the dirty area with the uh, mirror and uh, probe and tweezer and then we are going to wash our hands again sanitize and uh, put on the gloves yeah, I think we can just sanitize maybe without... Yeah, yeah, to, yeah, uh, because to save time, to we can sanitize. only sanitize, yeah. yeah. All right, so we are going now to choose our clamps. So I suppose that we have multiple clamps now, but we are going to choose the, the best one that will uh, be attached to the tooth in four holes, uh, in four uh, areas, like the peaks of the clamp should touch uh, all the surface of the tooth uh, properly. So we have four peaks should touch all the surfaces. Yeah, four, four points yeah, contact. Yeah, four point contact, yeah. All right, so now we are pretty sure that it's stable. We need to like uh, push it from, from, the, uh, the from the bow mm -hmm. to be sure that it's stable. Then okay. we remove it and make the tie, which need to be quick as well. And this will come with practice. So we need to, uh, first of all, Make the two ends together like this. All right, so we have a loop now. And these two ends, we need to get it inserted from the lingual part or the palatal part if it's upper. All right, and get it inside this loop. So take the two ends from the loop. All right, so this is the first tie. And then we need to Make it around the bow multiple times. It doesn't have to be too much, but at least five, six times. And then we need to take it out again, these two ends from the buckle uh, hole. This will ensure that we have a secure clamp. So if it's fractured any time from the bow, we have the two ends secured and will not affect the patient 
go to the patient's throat or anything. Now we're going to secure the clamp again to check if everything is fine. Yeah, and pull it to check if it's stable. Yeah, it's stable. Then you remove it again. Right, so this is one, one technique that is um, pretty much simple than the uh, technique that we need to put the clamp first and then over it the sheet. We can just make it all together by putting the uh, the clamp with two wings inside the first hole like this so we can add it all together except just for the frame. We need to be sure that it the two wings are inside the, the, the sheet.